Uh, oops. Alright. Sa... Ito ang dami. Uh, Alright. Uh, thank you, brothers and sisters. Uh, good evening to all of us. Um, so, uh, my uh, talk for today or for tonight is actually about um, stop, look, and listen. So, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, usual signs that we may see when we are driving at the road or, uh, or even just by walking. You can see stop, look, and listen. So, um, that is the, uh, the title for my talk. So, uh, we're going to uh, go to the next slide. So, um, so, you know, when we have this kind of sign, kapag ka meron tayong gantong sign na nakikita sa daan, when we see signs like this in the road, um, what, does it, what does it mean? Based on, um, based on Google, it says here to exercise caution, especially at street corners and railroads crossings by stopping or looking to the left and looking to the right and listening for approaching vehicles or a train. It is a good practice to stop, look, and listen at a railroad crossing. So um, the actual use of railroad crossing uh, or the, the, the actual use of the stop, look, and sign, uh, stop, look, and listen sign by the sisters is that it warns, uh, it, it, uh, it warns us of threats that we haven't seen yet. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, it, um, uh, it uh, warns us of something that may coming onto your way, like, um, you know, a road that is uh, approaching or a railroad that is approaching. And um, it gives you a sign and saying that uh, don't just walk blindly, rather be cautious and um, uh, be alert always at uh, while, while you are driving or walking. So what does it mean in, in terms of biblical sense? You know, in life, uh, we are facing many challenges, especially in our walk with Jesus Christ, our Lord. For the world that we live in is, in very, is very wicked and full of things that could blind us in our spiritual walk. Um, you know, brothers and sisters, if we base it on Matthew chapter 24, 7 to 8, it says here, For nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these things are beginning of sorrows. So, brothers and sisters, you know, this is the actual signs that we are seeing right now, are currently in the world. You know, we have um, China and USA having Cold War. We have um, massive earthquakes that has been uh, happened, that happened recently. And um, we also had the COVID-19 COVID situation, of course. And, um, you know, all these things. And now, we, you know, we are facing famine because um, some people doesn't even have food to eat. You know, some people doesn't even, can't, can't even afford some food to eat. And they're trading some of their things just so they can eat something in these days. And, um, you know, it's, it's just... Uh, you know, it's it's all it's all um, already been prophesied in the Bible, and now it is happening. So uh, I want to use the stop, look, and listen sign for all of us, so that you know we'll we will we will be able to really delve in it and what how how can it be useful in our walk uh, with the Lord, especially in times like this where uh, it's all uncertainty, like. Earlier, you know, Pastor Zaldi was mentioning about the price of uh, pork meat uh, 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 spiking up because that means, you know, um, the farms and the other uh, suppliers of pork is basically running out of resources that they could raise for pork, you know, uh, because all of our pork here in Manila is coming from farms. And basically, if the prices is, are spiking up, that means, you know, uh, the farms is starting to, to have a shortage of, of supplying of, of pork in here in Manila. And that is famine, you know. And um, it's just we are in a very dire situation, very critical. So 
um, what we should do really is pay attention to what the Lord says, especially in times like this, so that we don't get lost. Um, moving on. Um, so first, we need to stop and think. So it says in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16, Wash yourselves, make yourself clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my, from before my eyes, cease to do evil. And then it says in Romans chapter 12, verse 21, and also in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, I uh, kind of adjoined the two verses so that you would complete the thought of what I want to say. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is in common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able or what or, or beyond what you are capable. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So brothers and sisters, you know, um, first thing is first, if, if we are still unprepared for the Lord's coming, is if we are still unprepared, we think ourselves as, you know, still as sinful, you know, we need to, like it says in Isaiah, cease to do evil. And um, it's, it's a very, it's a very, very, very hard decision because you know, um, there's, for me, I believe in such thing called the slope of sin, where if we start to sin and sin and sin, we start to think, especially, you know, if we, if we are spiritual, uh, when we start to sin and sin and sin, we, we, uh, we start to think eventually that it is normal. And um, it's, we, we are not, we are being uh, less bothered by it by the time goes by that we are doing it, because it's, it becomes a it becomes a routine it becomes a normal uh to us when we are doing sin and sin and sin all over again you know but um you know the 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 answer is really simple you know it's just we need to make our mind and say to ourselves you know that we need to go back to what god is saying to us we need to pay attention to what the bible is saying to us you know um because um only through the word of god can we achieve purification you know if we are i i know you know we are we are still in our flesh and sometimes we sin and uh you know it's it's uh it, it's i i would i, I don't want to say it's normal but um it's normal to be tempted it's not normal to sin it's normal to be tempted so um you know uh and i want to say that uh, when when we want to change ourselves, basically we need to say to ourselves it very firmly because it's like climbing a high wall when you start to say you want to stop doing sin because that means you need to crawl back you need to crawl back your way in 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 the, in the in the way of God you know that uh, you you first started before you sinned because. You know that we have to walk that straight narrow path and to be there is very is very hard you know to stay there is is very challenging you know it's very challenging because i told you like uh you know we have temptations left and right in this world but you know it says in in the second scripture that i shared that you know uh god doesn't give us a temptation that we can handle basically that's how we love that's how god loves us because you know, he gives us tests that he knows that we can overcome, you know. It's not automatic, though. It's not automatic, but uh, it needs to be a choice. You know, we need to choose what to do, what's right, you know, because we have we still had the freedom to choose, brothers and sisters. But, um, you know, uh, the Lord wants us to choose the right thing. The Lord wants us to choose to do his will and every way that impossibly that we can you know and it says here that god is faithful and he, he is very true god is he's very faithful you know and um and you know it says in and with, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape is that uh my understanding in that in that is that um you know if we are able to overcome the temptation we also gain understanding. We also become more stronger um, 
than uh, than ever because once you start to pass like the test I i'm sure when we get tempted some of it is like a test you know and when we pass a test like in the school you know once you pass the test you already know the answers right so then when you already know the answers when you, you you're able to pass it again and again if that's given to you another time that's what it means when you know it says here that that you may be able to bear it you passed it once you were able to do it all over and all over again but we have to do it we have to do our part to pass the first test you know we have to do our part to to uh, overcome the temptations that comes to our life so yeah that's what it needs to stop so and then moving on um next is we need to look for god's wisdom so in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart and uh, in first chronicle chapter 15 verse 2 seek the lord and his strength seek his face forevermore and then in luke 19 chapter 10 for the son of man which is jesus christ has come to seek and to save that which was lost so brothers and sisters you know there, there's two meanings here when um you know when we are saying that we are looking to god's to god's wisdom um first one is if we are not yet spirit filled of course uh we need to be spirit filled you know and there, there's an entire in structure there, there there is an entire instruction for that one but that is a topic for another day um what i want to focus on today is that for us you know us spirit filled that um, now that we have, now that God has changed our life, we should never forget that um, we are the ones who, uh, you know, who were able to remember God's sacrifice than other people. The reason why we have food on our table, the reason why we can sleep very peacefully in, in, uh, our, in our bed is that we know that God is looking out for us, you know. And if he, if he is looking out for us, we should do the same thing, right? And um, we should always look to God. We should always, you know, it says in Jeremiah that search me, search for me with all your heart. And that is very true because, um, you know, um, like what I was saying yesterday at our thought for the night that the first things comes first. You need to love the Lord, you know. You don't just look for the Lord because someone said, that you need to look for the Lord. Like if you're, you know, if you're very young and your mother said like, oh, you need to read the Bible, you know, and uh, as, as, a, as a children, you need to do that because you need, you want to, you, you want to honor your parents. But when you come at a time where you need to decide for yourself, you know, you will face choices that do I really love the Lord or I just followed him because my parents told me to. You know, and, um, you know, for us is that uh, that's why I'm saying that we need to love the Lord because that is the most important thing. It's the reason it, that is the reason why it is called the first commandment, because it is the most important commandment. You know, it is the first and foremost commandment that God has ever gave, because that's what he wants us to do. The first thing that we want, he wants us to do is to love him back. You know because he loved us and it's only fair that we we should we should give him his due and um you know give everything back to the lord as well and what i mean by that is not only by resources by giving tithes you know uh i know that is that is very important but one thing that we need to give back to the lord is you know and entirely our 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 life our um whatever we are doing in this life we are studying working um if, if you know if we're uh, just everything you know um that we need to uh do everything to represent jesus christ and his glory and um you know we need to make sure that our testimony stands out and you know to do to keep our testimony clean is that you know we need to uh pray to the lord always and we need to read the bible as well always because that's where we, we get his um his instructions and also that's where we get um you know 
uh, are more more understanding uh, of what God truly is and what is really his will for all of us you know and also that's where we get our strength you know we know that's like what I said earlier that we can sleep peacefully we can we have food on our table we we know uh, we have peace of mind in our hearts because we know that God is always there you know uh, people outside they are always they, they are really scared right now because um, because of famine and uncertainty they don't know if they're going to have food tomorrow but for all of us brothers and sisters we are blessed that we know we have we would have food tomorrow um, because the Lord has blessed us um, hello the Lord has blessed us in our jobs in our homes and in our um, uh, you know, in our in everything that we do in this life, God has blessed us. You know, that's why we need to represent Him back. Um, and that's also, you know, looking for God's wisdom, because uh, by that we also gain uh, understanding of more of what is our, truly our purpose and what truly is our calling upon this earth. So, praise the Lord for that. <clears throat> and next is uh, we need to listen to God's instructions. Um, James chapter one verse twenty two. Do not merely do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Matthew chapter seven verse twenty four. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. In Philippians chapter four verse nine. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me put it into practice and god and the god of peace will be with you so here it's very simple that when we you know of course when we are looking out for god we will eventually have answers from god we will eventually have um you know have more like i said understanding is is most sometimes of how god replies to us he does it most by understanding, giving us understanding and wisdom. And, um, you know, whether we want to accept it or not, that is, again, you know, that is fully our choice, you know. Um, but, you know, what he says in the Bible is very clear. We need to listen and um, not only listen, but we need to uh, manifest what God wants us to do. You know, we need to manifest what God says to says to us. Uh, when we pray about something, I remember many brothers or sisters before told me that um, whatever God may reply to us, whether we whether we like it or not, we need to listen to God because um, sometimes our mind tells us that you know our, our hope hoping for something else, but God doesn't give it to us and our first reaction would be we would be disappointed because you know our our minds from you know our fleshy minds is is expecting something but then it doesn't go that way because you know uh, uh god has seen something much more better for us and um we just need to ignore such uh emotions and disappointments uh within ourselves because when we know that God is always looking out for us, um, we know that you know He's 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 the righteous one. So, I mean, no man is righteous; only God is righteous. So, um, you know, when when we uh, listen to to God's instructions, we will never fail. You know, it's it's like it says here that wise man who built his rock, who built his house on the rock, that means you would have a stable foundation our life would have a stable foundation and in in uh in civil engineering if if a building is uh is um built on a cement or a very strong foundation like a rock yes a flat rock or um you know just a good foundation uh whatever earthquake that comes into that building it cannot be easily broken down and the same thing for us brothers and sisters, you know, our faith is like building yourself, a building, a, 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 a very high building where 
uh, when you grow, you, your faith is like um, adding levels and levels and levels. And, you know, and, and a building, if it gets very high, the more it is harder to sustain. And um, the same thing to us, brothers and sisters, when, when we start to grow and build ourselves up, that's when the devil try to stumble us more or tempt us more because he knows that you are growing. He knows that um, you are doing well in God's, uh, you know, in God's work and, and what you're doing well and listening to God. And he's bothered by that. You know, the, the enemy, which is the devil, is always bothered by how are we always are following God's instructions. And he, he doesn't want that, you know, and that's why he will, he will send earthquakes to shake your building of faith. But like I said, or like what the Bible has said, if that is on a stable rock, which is Jesus Christ, you know, whatever earthquake that comes into your way that is sent by the devil, it's not easily broken down because we have God's peace. And um, uh, moving on again. Uh, trust the Lord all the way until he returns uh, for us. Now, after passing through the sign and having the green light, and now I'm talking about, you know, once you pass the stop, uh, look and listen sign, you know, it's like, it's, it's always in a stoplight. <laughs> so when, when uh, passing through the sign and having the green light, which is, means go, you can go now, uh, we should never look back or, or dwell in the past since for the Lord has forgiven us in all our trespasses and just focus on being right with the lord so my supporting scriptures that said that uh, supports that statements are second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sin and will heal their land and um that is very simple like what I said earlier, um, the Lord has forgiven us already. And if we sin, if we truly repented for our sins, you know, there's no need to um, dwell on it or there's no need to even condemn ourselves. Sometimes we condemn ourselves when we do sin because that's, uh, that's what our body wants us to do, like bring us down. But um, you know, in Luke chapter 6, verse 37, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Actually, you know what? This scripture is here. It doesn't just apply to when, when you apply it to other people. It applies to ourselves as well. Like sa atin din. No? Sa, sa pagkatao din natin. Tayo mismo. Na hindi natin yun na judge yung sarili natin. We don't judge ourselves. Hindi rin natin kinokondem yung sarili natin, which is, uh, hindi rin, we don't condemn ourselves. And most importantly, we should always forgive ourselves if we have done something wrong. And uh, kailangan din natin patawarin yung sarili natin kapag nakagawa tayo ng mali. Alam na, kung alam naman natin, nag-repent ka, truly ka, truly ka nag-repent sa Diyos sa kasalanan mo na yun. At uh, alam mong pinatawad ka niya kasi, um, uh, babalik sa'yo yung saya sa pagsisimba or pag, pagpupuri kay Lord, pag-worship you know, um, when, when we know that we are uh, forgiven by the Lord when uh, the happiness of worshiping the Lord it comes back to us you know, that's when we know that the Lord has forgiven us and, and um, once we get back to that stride or once we get back to that tempo there's no need to slow down just go all the way Go all the way and uh, just go in that, like I said, straight and narrow path, and never fall down again. And um, if we, if you do, then just repeat this whole process again, and then yeah, and then that's that's uh, uh that's what you, that's what you just need to do. Mm. Um, last uh, slide. Let's move on, holding each other up and God's hands. Um, this one, I will not explain it anymore because it's very simple. Psalm 121, verse 7 to 8. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. 
and the Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. And 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, for if we live, uh, for if we live by faith and not by sight, and um, yeah, that, that's just my thoughts for tonight. And uh, yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, yeah, thank you very just love for that uh, wonderful uh, uh, talk. That's very uh, good. Magkaroon uh, tayo ng pamantayan at uh, uh, tinitingnan sa ating mga spiritual na buhay. No? Yan yan yung uh, pag-iingat no? sa lahat yung pagtitiwala no? sa Panginoon lahat-lahat. Okay, praise the Lord. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, Okay, we sing one more chorus before uh, we proceed to our uh, prayer in spirit and um, our closing prayer. <clears throat> 